This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this short excerpt, I explain how to use keyframes in motion to animate the movement of an object. While continuing on motion, Blair asks, how do I add multiple movements to an object in motion? I want it to move, pause, move, pause, then move again. And the answer is that most of the time we get things to move in motion using behaviors. But if you want things to start and stop, you need to use keyframes. Let me show you. I have here a tennis ball. And I've added a 3D spin to it. This is one of the 3D objects that's inside motion. And it looks beautiful. But what I want it to do is I want it to start here in the edge of the frame and move around. So let me just select the object. There's the tennis ball and drag it to where I want it to start. I'm going to have it start right here, and we'll turn off the safe zone so we can see this better. Notice that my playhead is at the very beginning of the clip, or wherever I want the motion to start. I want it to start at the beginning of the clip. I'll go to the inspector, go to properties, and you notice under position, I've got this gray diamond right here. This allows me to set or remove keyframes. I'll click to set a keyframe, and this remembers the starting position. Then I'll move the playhead to where I want it to go next, I'll say right there, and drag my tennis ball up to where I want it to go. Say I want it to go right there. If you already set the first keyframe for a parameter, as soon as you move that object, it creates a new keyframe, and keyframes are always created at the position of the playhead. The definition of a keyframe is a point of change during playback. If you want something to change, move, change size, change color, if you want something to change during playback, you have to use keyframes. And we always use keyframes in pairs, a starting keyframe and an ending keyframe. So if all I want this tennis ball to do is to move and stop, I've got that. But what I want it to do is I want it to hold there for a while. So I'll move my playhead to where I want the next section of movement to start, go back to properties, position, and notice that there's no keyframe here. So I'll click it again. It remembers the settings from the past keyframe, and that way it's not going to change position between keyframe 2 and keyframe 3. Now let's move this to where I want it to go next, and we'll say I want this to go here. And then I want it to hold, for, notice that it automatically created a keyframe at the position of the playhead. I want it to hold there. So again, it remembers the old settings, and I hold that. And we'll take it to the end and put it all the way off. No. And put it all the way off the frame. Come on. There we go, right there. Now as we play it back, watch how it works along those keyframes flies in, waits for a bit, and then flies around and waits for a bit, and then goes off the screen. In fact, I want it to go off the screen at the beginning. So I'll put my playhead on the opening keyframe, grab my tennis ball, and drag it off the frame. So in it comes, bounces against something, spins so we can see how well constructed it is. Then we can talk about why it's yellow and not purple, and it flies off. To move between keyframes, select the object. This arrow takes us to the previous keyframe. This arrow takes us to the next keyframe. And remember, there's pauses there, and it moves the playhead at the same time. Watch the playhead in a mini timeline. It goes to keyframe 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 5, and 6. To delete a keyframe, if the keyframe is gold, click on it, it deletes a keyframe. You can grab a keyframe and move it to a new position should you want, but remember your playhead needs to be on that keyframe to reposition it, so I'll do that. Let's go here, and now when I move the keyframe, the keyframe moves accordingly. So, when you want something to move and stop and move and stop and move and stop, don't use a behavior. Use a keyframe. This was an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit my store at larryjordan.com store and look for 
Webinar 329. By the way, when you need to stretch your training dollars, membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's almost 2,000 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers a variety of software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.